Welcome to the Powder Show, 2018 Powder Show in Chicago. Uh, this is Young Industries booth at the Powder Show. In the front here we have uh, the tabletop demos that we're doing is primarily with Transflow and Stingers. What we're doing with our small Transflow hoppers is demonstrating how well product flows. And for the demonstrations here at the show, we're using baking soda. And it's a very simple demonstration, but very effective. We load the hopper with the baking soda and it bridges immediately. We have a small hand pump to demonstrate how little air is needed to make the transflow work. We operate the hand pump and the product flows. When we stop the air, the product flow stops. Start it back up, and the product flows. Another thing we have on display here, just to show the, the even air distribution of our fluidization, our transfer fluidization, is an air pad in a, a little, small little aquarium here, um, bubbling up through the water just to, to show the distribution of the air coming through the air pad. We have a stinger convey tube to show that we can form the transflow into just about any shape that's needed based on the application. And in the background of our booth, you'll see that we have multiple convey systems um, show the various systems manufactured by Young Industries. Everything starts off at the bag dump station for dumping 50-pound bags. We have a product pump which goes through a 2-inch convey line, plexiglass convey line, so you can see it. We're conveying bird seed for the demonstration into a filter receiver with a rotary valve. The rotary valve delivers it into a small hopper above the transfer mechanical conveyor. When it reaches high level on the conveyor, hopper there starts to transfer mechanical conveyor. We have a surge hopper above a Young Industry Stinger screw. The Stinger screw takes the material back into the bag dump station and recirculates the material. We have this running all day long at the show, um, a very good demonstration of the, the multiple conveyors manufactured by Young Industries. We also have on display the number of rope assemblies that we manufacture. Um, we manufacture the nylon, polyurethane as standard, and we have static conductive discs for our conveyors, and we have magnetic technical discs for our conveyors. This is our demonstration of the Stinger conveyor. And this is a one inch diameter Stinger convey tube and we have a transflow line hopper. Stinger's completely line with transflow. And again, we're running uh, uh, baking soda through the system. Everything we're gonna be doing, basically no moving parts, all done with a little air pump to show the uh, low pressure and low volume air that's needed with the Stinger. And you can see by just Pressing a little bit of air into it, I can actually meter material out of the stinger very easily. Or by putting additional air onto the stinger, I can go full flow. A very nice demonstration of how the stinger works. This is our powder flow butterfly valve. Uh, it's just uh, it's a patent pending design we have come up with. This is specifically designed for powder handling. Um, in the past, butterfly valves are not normally used for handling powders because the disc itself becomes an obstruction in the line and on handling materials that do not flow well, it can be a very big problem with material flow. What we've done with the powder flow butterfly valve is we have a disc that is lined with transflow fluidization media. We put air into the shaft so we can get it into the transflow and we actually fluidize with the butterfly valve at the very bottom of a hopper and then when the disc opens to an open position, the material slides past it because of the friction factor being changed by the transflow. Um, the transflow acts a bit like an air hockey game in an arcade, so that, it, that the material slides right past it. Very good for handling cohesive powders, and the best thing is it gives a very tight seal for those applications that need it. This is our four inch model ESHC end seal rotary valve. Um, this is a patent designed by Young Industries to reduce leakage in those applications that require mineral leakage from differential pressure. 
what we have here um, that different, differentiates this valve from any other rotary valve is we have an end seal. Okay, this is a, um, a polymer seal on the side of the rotor. And we have air cylinders that exert pressure onto the seal to keep a, a very tight seal at the end of the rotor. With normal rotary valves, you get a leakage coming up from the discharge, going around the ends of the rotary valve and around the radial clearances of the rotary valve. With the end seal design, you only have a leakage that goes through the radial clearance of the valve because there's no leakage can get around the end seal. Um, the leakage on this rotary valve compared to a standard rotary valve is approximately 50%. It's, uh, it's a very good design, especially for high differential pressure applications.